Hi. Hi. I'd like to say thank you for hearing us as a community and being our voices for the whole community. You are appreciated, and that should never be left unsaid. I'm speaking tonight on some books in our school, specifically transgender books. As transgender children and parents of these children are dealing with this in their lives, I have the utmost sympathy for what they're going through, and it should go without saying that disparaging them is not my intent. While researching these books, I found that LTISD schools have over 80 plus books on the subject. Unfortunately, the books I have found are promoting and discussing this situation as a matter of fact and promoting every, everything about it. As an educational system for all children, and if we choose to have this com conversation in our books and most likely in our curriculum, do we owe it to all children just to discuss both sides of the conversation? I found one book in our school system talking about gender dysphoria, just one book. The statistics, statistics on transgender suicide, self-harm, depression should alarm everyone enough to take this seriously no matter what your personal opinion on the subject is. Do we not owe it to these children who find themselves in this life-changing time in their lives or those that just want to learn about it with a different opinion? There are many books to read on this subject, giving an alternative opinion, and for whatever reason, whoever is choosing what books are allowed in our schools does not feel another opinion is necessary. Can we ask this person why? If an educational institution we choose, as an ed educational institution, we choose to go down this slippery slope, I have a list of a few that should be allowed in our schools to educate our children that counters these 80 plus books. With all this said, I do, however, have a problem with any of these books being in the elementary schools. These books are called by some grooming or normalizing. I have just a couple here as examples. One teaches these kids that the whole class, one teaches these kids the whole class how Jacob and Sophie, who have gender dysphoria, should be able to use any bathroom they want to, and the littles jump on board with this idea with glee. The other one teaches about pronouns. I do not believe most parents are okay with this, as this is a parenting position they choose to share with their children as they see fit. This is not a job for our educators. I would like to continue this conversation, solutions on all books in our schools, dealing with many different subjects. Could we please put a committee of parents, citizens, teachers, et cetera, et cetera, together that can meet and discuss books in question and discuss what is best for all of us moving forward? Can you please put this on your agenda to move forward on what is best for this community as a whole? Thank you. Susan.